Hello, my name is Henry Mack and I'm a member of the Data School's 23rd cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'll explain the difference between table calculations and level of detail calculations, also known as LODs. Let's jump into Tableau to find out more. In order to demonstrate the difference between table calculations and LODs, I'll create a map showing the sum of cells for each state. We can do this by double clicking on latitude and double clicking on longitude and then dragging country slash region onto detail and also state onto detail and finally we can drag cells onto color the next step that we want to do is to create a table calculation which will give us the percentage of the total of the cells for each state we can do this by holding control, clicking on sum of cells and dragging this onto tooltip. We can then right click on this new field, going to quick table calculation and clicking on percent of total. In this case, the percent of the total cells for the state of New York is 13.53%. However, notice what happens when I drag region onto filters and filter it on east the map has now zoomed into the east region and the percentage has changed from 13.5% to 45.8% in order to explain what happens I will show this diagram that I created on Microsoft Paint the first step in Tableau creating a visualization is that Tableau firstly generates a query and sends it to the database or data source rather. The data source then processes the query where calculations and LODs are made. The data source then generates a temporary table that is already filtered and aggregated with any new columns produced as a result of these calculated fields and only after all of that the table calculations are applied. What happened in this example that I'd shown you was that table calculations were happening after the data had been filtered. If we wanted the percentage to stay the same, then we'd have to use a level of detail calculation. So in our example, the percentage had changed to 45%, which is 45% of the East region. But with an LOD, we can make it such that it stay on 15.5%. It must be noted that table calculations can be slow. Depending on the local system, and depending on the server. You must take this into account when choosing LODs or table calculations when working with larger sets of data. Going back to the map example, this 45.8% for New York represents 45.8% of the East region. If we don't want this percentage to change when we filter, we must use an LOD. I will now open an LOD calculation that I've created beforehand. And I'll drag this onto the tooltip mark. And as we can see, the number that it gives us is 0.1353, which means 13.53%, which is what we had originally when we had seen the whole of the United States on the map. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident in knowing the difference between table calculations and LODs. Please check the description of this video for links to additional material that you might find useful. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on new content. In addition, if you enjoyed this video, I think you'd enjoy a video on the difference between the index and the rank function. Click on the thumbnail on the bottom right to watch it next.